This is the internet, an information superhighway full of art, knowledge, and flying grandmothers. But could something so complex actually be built in Minecraft? Well, today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Wait, what? See, it all started way back in 1969 when this dude decided to send a message from one computer in California all the way to another computer in California. And that simple idea of exchanging data across networks turned into today's global data trade we call the internet. But building it in Minecraft wasn't gonna be easy. Okay, so the first thing I think we need to do is probably build a computer screen that we can actually type on. Okay, yeah, screen is always a, a good place to start. And and that brings us to our very first hurdle. Because how does a computer like the one you're looking at right now actually know what you're typing? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It's time to bring in the binary, baby. That, pro that probably sounded weird. Now, I'm not gonna get too far into what binary even is. All you need to know is that it's a bunch of ones and zeros that tell your computer what to do. So in Minecraft, redstone line off is zero and on is one. And if we link six of these lines together, the combinations of ons and offs give us different numbers which we can correlate to letters like A, B, See, you get it. But now our computer needs to know which binary value goes to each letter. So this is how big our like encoder and decoder are gonna be. But we should only need one of them if we're smart about it. So this would be A, this is B, this is C, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And so if we just have a redstone line, whenever only this one is on, we need this line to light up. And the way we can do that is by giving this guy a torch and every other line a repeater. Okay, okay. So this lamp is only gonna turn on when we have the correct combination for A, right? Because uh -huh. any other combination doesn't work. And then we can just apply this principle to every other letter. Do you understand how that works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That make, I mean, that makes sense. So could you, could you do B? So this is probably a good time to tell you, I don't know anything about technical redstone, but sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. So in um, order to get B on without turning A on. Cause this is two right here going in. So we need to make this mm -hmm. on only when it has this, but not. So now with all the inversions, I just need to flip the switch. Not quite. God dang it. <laughs> I think he's catching on to me. But after a little persistence. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, you got there it. You, go. you got it. Now we have C. And an entire alphabet of ones and zeros. We finally had ourselves a full binary encoder. 26. Boom. That is the entire alphabet encoded. So now what we need to do is take each one of these lines and mm -hmm. figure out which segments to send it to. See, now that our computer knows the alphabet, we need it to show it. And the best way to do that is multi-segment displays, which basically split our screen into, well, segments that form the different letters. So now we need to make a decoder so it has one input and 16 outputs because this has 16 segments. So then we can just directly route these orange lines into every different segment. Does that make sense? My brain hurts. <laughs> my brain my brain is trying so hard. Let's just start by displaying one letter, I think. And after a bit of finagling. Why is it so hard to like build the internet in Minecraft Ramsey? <laughs> a little programming. All right, and here's B. Nope. <laughs> I mean, B? Still no. <laughs> and some encouraging words from my wife. This is the nerdiest <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Very rude. <laughs> we finally had ourselves a working display. Z, there it is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we got the whole alphabet on the display. Let's go. There was just one tiny problem. Oh, how do we input multiple letters? Now, that might sound like a simple problem to solve. Just stack a bunch of letter decoders side by side and call it a day. But think about it. If we just link all the displays together, then they'll all just show the same letter. But if we don't link them together, then we can only send messages one letter at a time, which is really only useful for Discord spam. So we need this thing to get a letter, save it, latch closed, and then send the next letter on. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was my idea. Actually, wait. So this is basically our gate. So we can have repeater locks over here and then gates over here. 
Okay. And then it just needs a bit of logic to determine when the gates are on. Man, you see why I hired this guy? He's incredible, knowledgeable, and of course, patient. Well. No! Oh, no. The freaking Ahoods, what are you doing? Oh. Stop! Oh. What are you doing? Wait, what is going on? No! no. Why are you watching? Where is it coming from? I don't know! I got top of that. No! <laughs> I think I broke rec rap. But after hours of painful disappointment, we finally found our solution. Ready? Mm-hmm. What letter is it? L. Okay. All right. And then we'll do this letter. E. Did it work? Lee. Dude! Oh. It, it works! It Le works. victory! <laughs> Le victory! <laughs> I'm shouting at the top of my lungs at 5 p.m. <laughs> uh, on a Wednesday. All right, let's calm down there, killer. Hey, uh, mucho take it easy. I need your help. Okay, now time to spell, spell brand to again. Watch now, this. Now it's the time. Here we go. B. B. Probably like this. B R A. And then uh, N. And then Z, Z is like that. And then Y is like that. Yeah, my new channel name <laughs> is Bafaug. <laughs> it rolls right off the tongue. Hey, it's uh, it's really hard to to convert binary to letters in your head. <laughs> Which is a good point, and the entire purpose of one of the most important elements of any computer, the keyboard. So after a bit of screen expansion and a bite of final testing, Z! Yes! It was time for us to get typing. At least, that's what I thought. Oh, Branzy. With the epic music that's going on. Wait, where are you? Right here. Where'd you go? Oh, Branzy. <laughs> I'm going on vacation. Right. You're gonna have to... <laughs> you either have to wait for me to get back or build the keyboard yourself, Branzy. Okay, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been very helpful to this point of the project. Wait, wait, what one's this supposed to be connected to? <laughs> Look right here, Brandy. It know. just goes nowhere. I don't know what color are we missing. So building a keyboard all on my own was my chance to finally prove not only to Wreck, but to myself that I am capable of contributing to this project, that I can be useful when prompted, and that I am fully capable of understanding complex redstone implementations all by myself. For example, when I press J, this is J's six-bit key. Or if I press M, <laughs> uh, I see what you did there, you sneaky little devil. Like well, you know what they say. It takes an entire village to raise an idiot. And Matt Bat is my redstone daddy. That sounded way less weird in my head. Basically, all we need is to have some kind of input for each letter and inputs the correct binary combination into the computer. So this note block, every time I hit it, it unpowers this line, which flashes these torches and turns on the binary signal. So now I just have to link together all of the different letters and bang, it's working. I think, but I'm okay. I'm not really sure yet. First, I have to connect that all the way to the binary input at the top of the computer. And after a couple days of complete competence, wait, was this the one bit or the five bit? Oh God. I finally had the Thockworthy keyboard of my dreams. So technically this should work if I hit clear No shot! Oh, that was so cool! Here we go. This is the real test, okay? R. Wreck, I miss you! Woo! Baby, we did it! That's so freaking cool, dude! Let me just give this thing a little bit of decoration, and now this thing thocks, if you know what I'm saying. God, I really wish Wreck could see this right now. God, you're a quiet little thing. You wanna show me what you've been up to while I've been gone? Yes, sir. Wreck, I... <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh, wait, can I try it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, wait. Clear? Zoom, and zoom, then zoom, it clears? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, I guess it doesn't format it correctly, but you know what, that <laughs> works. <laughs> dude, this is so sick. Call me crazy, but I think we're kind of close. I think so too. The only things we need to do 
is some sort of RAM system, some sort of memory to store our messages, and then the ability to recall that message and send it to the other person. Yeah, that's it. That is that is it. Um, do you want to see my idea for RAM? I think I yes. got this from a Matt Bat video. I'm pretty sure. How dare you? And it turns out the key to any message storage array is just a few dozen repeaters and a dream. Wait, this seems like really simple. I feel like, like we basically like, have it. This is like one of those things that we always think that we've got it, and then it turns out that we're completely missing uh -huh. half of what we need to know. <laughs> right, we're about to reach that point. Just wait, audience. Well, okay, I guess we should probably try inputting stuff, which should be a lot simpler, because we should unflash all these torches whenever we get a piece of data, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine we have a one that comes in, which would be boom. And then a one is stored. Look at that. We got our first stored bit of data. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it and you're gonna you're gonna tell me if I'm right, okay? Because okay. I'm very mm -hmm. excited about this. That just was that's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Again. <laughs> um, so if I wanted to type a D, basically mm -hmm. it's going to unlock the repeater and then lock it again, locking in the signal right there for the D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There and it look is. at that. Look at and that. that's the only one that's on out of the whole row. And so we know it's row. our D. And if I wanted to do a B after that, then we should see this should move forward and this should light up. And wouldn't da, da, you know da, da. it, wouldn't you know it, the D is in position, the B is in position, and nothing else is lit up on either row. We basically have 32 bits of information, which is like, not that much. How much I mean, is like a CD player? <laughs> And now that we could store our messages, all we needed was a way to send them. We need to be able to press a button and it stays on for 32 ticks. Oh, you did like an etho clock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is, an etho hopper clock. We just hook up the etho hopper clock to this line and we just press the etho hopper clock whenever we want to send our message. And we see all of our bits go through, look at that! What? Oh, wait. Wait, they wait, just why missed. did they die? They got all the wait, we they all died. <laughs> Oops, I kind of forgot some uh, a little repeater here. But sending messages was only half the battle. Oh, that brings up an interesting point though. How do we distinguish between getting rid of the data and sending the data? And the best way to do that is um is with a piston to just like literally mechanically make it so that nothing can go through, like that. So if we have our, our signal on right here, it goes through, it doesn't go through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, that doesn't, why does that break? Uh, oh, my freaking quasi-connectivity, bro. Quasi-connectivity. Really now you're sounding like Mr. Q. That's when you know what you're doing. It's just basically, whenever something goes unexpected with a piston, it's just quasi-connectivity. <laughs> you know, that's all it is. If the viewers have ever been curious as to that, Piston ain't working, quasi-connectivity. <laughs> I think it's the best definition I've heard so far. <laughs> <laughs> so after installing our RAM into our computer, see you later, Abit. Oh, oh, it's so good. That's good. <laughs> Adding our send button. Send. Is our wow message sending? Oh, it's sending. Ooh. There it goes. And implementing an entirely new RAM design for incoming messages. We can just like copy and paste, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We finally had a working message terminal. D. Oh! Oh, wait, it only read one letter. Finally had a working message terminal. That's not what the message should be, bro. That's da -da not what it should be. A working message terminal. Duh! As wait, in ta-da? No. <laughs> okay, so it took a bit of troubleshooting, all right? But eventually, we finally had ourselves a working message terminal. Give me a D. Uh -oh. Give me an A. We're still Give me short. a B. <laughs> hey, we got the it. Wait, we did? Yeah, we got it. Oh my gosh, I was so scared. Okay, so now all this machine does is this. I just had that uh, realization. I, yeah, that's me be honest with you. God dang it. That's so okay. sick. Um, do you want to do the honors of copying the entire thing? Oh my god. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna copy. But after pasting our new computer just outside render distance to ensure they were on, quote, different networks, all that was left to do was connect them with ethernet cables. And then, wait, all we're doing, Branzi, we're just hooking this line up uh -huh. to this line on the other side. And then 
we need another five lines from the other one to connect up to this. And then we're done. And then we've created the internet, oh my God. So finally, after nearly a month of working on this project, it was time to see if we had lived up to the example of our networking forefathers and completed our task of building the very building blocks of the internet in Minecraft. Okay, I can see my message. I'm gonna click send to you, all right? Okay. Ah! Ah! I don't know if it's gonna work. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm seeing stuff oh, come through. Oh, Stuff's oh. coming through. I see bits in the RAM moving forward. I see Rex's face. <laughs> H. 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 Oh, H. No. I. K. 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 I thought this was gonna be the one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world are you trying to say? <laughs> All of the K's are supposed to be spaces, which leads me to think that our bits are inverted or something. So just so I understand this, for some reason, even when we're sending the right message from one machine, the other is just jumbling it all up into a bunch of nonsense, and we have no idea why. Mm-hmm. Now, I wish I could say that this was a simple fix and our redstone prowess prevailed to provide us with the perfect solution to our problem. But it wasn't, and it didn't. In fact, we spent hours upon hours troubleshooting this seemingly small issue. Uh, you were, weren't you valedictorian? Isn't that like your whole shit? No, shtick? I was salutatorian. <laughs> oh, so I'm actually best. really bad. Trying any and every solution we could come up with. I just need a, uh, what's a who's here and a doohickey here and a dinky donk and I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, it's making sense. <laughs> That's good. To try and figure out where the problem was even coming from. Let's build the internet in Minecraft. That would be a simple idea. <laughs> It was definitely not as easy as connecting everything up. It was not. Well, we're close. We're super close. I can feel it. We are close. Really close. I don't know. I think we should come back to it another day, Ramsey. Okay, that's fine. So maybe the answer was simply that the internet was far too complex to build in Minecraft. But Rec and I are nothing if not relentless. I think it's time. I think it's time, Rec. I think it's time to wrap this up. The problem is just what? It's just sending and receiving data. That was our problem. Which is the entire internet portion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the part that's wrong. Fortunately for us, sometimes the answer to all your problems is a fresh pair of eyes. N. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, what? I just saw this happen. Wait, what happened? I witnessed this. Look at this line now. <laughs> Look at this line. What about all it? of it's lit up. And it shouldn't be? No, and it wasn't until the last letter came through. What? What indeed. <laughs> How thoroughly did we test our RAM before we just implemented it? <laughs> did we I'd... ever test a case where there should be two bits that are like this? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So the problem, Branzi, is a two tick repeater it doesn't only take the input and output it two ticks later, it extends it to two ticks. I need you to sense? say that to me again, <laughs> like I'm a golden retriever. <laughs> okay. So let me, let me get a demonstration. So we have loaded in a byte on every other one, right? Mm -hmm. My theory is that if we freeze the game and we let it all go, like Frozen, uh -huh. they're gonna combine. Like, what's a Disney movie that they combine in? I don't know Disney movies. Pretend that analogy worked. Flubber, say Flubber. Like Flubber. There you go, there it is. What's, what's Flubber? You've never watched Flubber? <laughs> no. Let me step it forward one go tick. Ahead. Boom, they're all unlocked. Do you see the spaces in between the red? They're about it. to be gone. Wait, one more second. They're about to be gone. They're gone! They're gone! And I think that is because we're using two tick repeaters. I think we need a space in between every bit. I think that's the solution. Are you saying a space like this? No, we have to redesign RAM from ground up. 
Now, at this point, saying we were frustrated was a bit of an understatement. This is how I'm feeling. Turn around. <laughs> and after hours of futile troubleshooting, we were still no closer to fixing our problem. This is where it's gonna break, though. Here comes no, an A. It's gonna be fine. It's all fine. What? Really? No, it broke. <laughs> <laughs> so there was only one thing we could do to save this project: kiss. You know, like the acronym. What if we just did the thing that you were saying earlier? Like, if you look at this this diagram. Yeah, let's try it. See what happens. It's frozen. All right, none of them should combine. This time it's kind of weird because two repeaters represent one tick. Mm -hmm. It works, Ranzi. What? It, it halves our RAM space, but honestly, I don't even care at this point. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> we so... can just make it twice as long. <laughs> Let's just delete repeaters and see more. And with our bit storage finally solved, it was time to officially test our internet communications. Uh, again. Let's do one more test. Let's do one more test. I'm going to do the full message. <clears throat> All right. Here comes my message. I'm sending. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see some stuff coming through. There's so many okay. things happening. I, I, okay, read it, read it, read it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give oh, yeah, some. it might cut off the word halfway, actually. No, no, I don't know. So we only have 16 characters, right? Mm-hmm. No, that should be enough. I had one character to spare. I used 15 characters. Is it reading it? Breck, it's beautiful. Oh my god. It's bro. beautiful. It's so beautiful. But we couldn't get excited yet, because the ultimate test of any computer network isn't just downloading data, but uploading it too. Oh, okay. I'm gonna send you something back. Okay. For all the marbles in the barrel. All of the marbles are in the barrel? What? I don't know. Dude, we've been at this for like four <laughs> hours today. Okay. All of the marbles are in the barrel, Brandy. We're ready. I'm just going to send it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. All right. I'm looking off into the fog. Let's see if I can spot. And oh, no. Oh, it's lighting up. Stuff is being sent. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay. Okay. I'm going to press read. I'm going to press read. No, right. this is gonna be so crazy. Oh, I see some stuff. Oh! Oh my gosh. Dude, there's no way. Yeah! It works! <laughs> did it. We built yeah, the freaking internet. We built the freaking internet. And it may not have all the fancy bells and whistles of the modern internet, like YouTube videos, HTML coding, or even basic routing protocols. <laughs> Actually, that one is kind of important. Um, one second. Okay, so basically, I took everything that Rec taught me from etho hopper clocks to binary decoders to create a redstone router and static IP address. And it's all based around this magical yellow addressing line, which connects all the way up to our keyboard. So now we just flip this switch to type in Rec's IP address, which is conveniently just R, and that essentially generates the header section of an IPv4 packet. Then we just type in the rest of our message and click send. So when our data packet gets to the router, if the IP address matches, it opens the gates and lets the rest of the message flow through to Rex's machine where he can click on read and ta-da! But if the packet's IP address doesn't match, the gate stays shut and the rest of the data gets sent straight through to the void of the internet. And check it out. You can even hack into the system and steal people's messages. And if that's not the internet, then I don't know what is. And if you think that's cool, how about having a friend willing to dedicate dozens of hours just to teach you something? I need you to sense? say that to me again <laughs> like I'm a golden retriever. A friend who, without the internet, I never would have met in the first place. It feels okay, so good. Before we go, 
before you end the video, I need you to go over to your screen. I sent you a message. People have to see this. Okay. Is it not rubber there? Brib rubber bribe. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> the people better know what it means. I'm too bad at asking people to subscribe. <laughs> Even with the internet, when we build it ourselves, we still can't ask people to subscribe. Yeah, it's like my thing. Oh no.